डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज अर्थ मैग्नेटिज्म दी इस क्लास विच ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਕਲਾਸ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਆਬਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਵੇਖ ਲਈਏ ਆਫਟਰ ਦ ਕੰਪਲੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਦ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਦ ਅਰਥਸ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਕਾਜ਼ੇਸ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਦ ਐਲੀਮੈਂਟਸ ਆਫ ਅਰਥਸ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਸੋਲਵ ਨਿਊਮੈਰਿਕਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਔਨ ਅਰਥਸ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਵਾਸਟ ਅਤੇ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਟ ਗੈਲੈਕਸੀਜ਼ ਛੋਟੇ ਤੋਂ ਛੋਟੇ ਇਨਵਿਜ਼ਿਬਲ ਐਟਮਸ ਮਨੁੱਖ ਪਸ਼ੂ ਜਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਹੋਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਵੈਰਾਈਟੀ ਆਫ ਸੋਰਸਸ ਤੋਂ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡਸ ਪਰਮੀਟ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਰਹਿੰਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਅਰਥ ਦੀ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਐਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਵੀ ਪੁਰਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਸ ਦੀ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਸ਼ਨਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਟੀ ਬੜੇ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਤੋਂ ਮਨੁੱਖੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ when a magnet is suspended freely with the help of an unspun thread it comes to rest along the north south direction if it is turned slightly from this direction and left it again returns to this direction the technological exploitation of this property is generally credited to the chinese who are using it since 400 bc for navigation on ships caravans crossing the gobi desert also employed magnetic needles a clear hai ki natural magnets the attractive ate directive properties earth's magnetism karan han earth the magnetic field strength the value ਇੱਕ ਥਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਦੂਜੀ ਤੇ ਵੈਰੀ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਆਰਡਰ 10 ਟੂ ਦੀ ਪਾਰ -5 ਟੈਸਲਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਅਰਥ ਤੇ ਰੇਡੀਅਸ ਤੋਂ ਲਗਭਗ 5 ਗੁਣਾ ਉੱਪਰ ਤੱਕ ਐਕਸਟੈਂਡ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਅਰਥ ਤੇ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ ਦਾ ਕਾਰਨ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਸਿਸਟ ਵਿਲੀਅਮ ਗਿਲਬਰਟ ਸੁਜੈਸਟਿਡ ਦੈਟ ਦੀ ਅਰਥ ਇਟਸੈਲਫ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਹਿਊਜ ਪੀਸ ਆਫ ਮੈਗਨੈਟ because of which a magnetic compass needle always came to rest along north south direction however this hypothesis is certainly not correct earth the magnetism diya kai reasonable theories proposed kitiyan gayan han kyunki magnetic field electric current to arise hundi hai is karke ਅਰਥ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਥਿਉਰੀਜ਼ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਕਰੰਟਸ ਉੱਤੇ ਬੇਸਡ ਹਨ ਵਨ ਥਿਉਰੀ ਸੁਜੈਸਟਸ ਦੈਟ ਦੀ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਆਫ ਅਰਥ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਡਿਊ ਟੂ ਮੋਲਟਨ ਚਾਰਜਡ ਮੈਟੈਲਿਕ ਫਲੂਇਡ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਰ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਰਥ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਨੋਨ ਦੈਟ ਦੀ ਅਰਥਸ ਕੋਰ ਇਜ਼ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੀਮਲੀ ਹੌਟ ਐਂਡ ਮੋਲਟਨ ਐਸ ਦੀ ਅਰਥ ਰੋਟੇਟਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟਸ ਐਕਸਿਸ the charged fluid that is ions of iron and nickel in the highly conducting liquid region of the earth's core also rotates this gives rise to electric currents in the fluid these electric currents are responsible for earth's magnetism commonly known as the dynamo effect this hypothesis is supported by these facts one moon has no molten core and hence no magnetic field two venus has a slower rate of rotation and hence a weaker magnetic field three amongst the planets jupiter has the fastest rotation rate and it has a fairly strong magnetic field Another theory suggests that since earth has charged particles protons and electrons the rotation of earth about its axis generates electric currents these currents magnetize the earth since every substance is made up of charged particles a substance rotating about an axis is equivalent to circulating currents responsible for magnetization 
ਅਰਥ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਬਾਰੇ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਵਿਊ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਨ ਤੋਂ ਆਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਹਾਈ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਰੇਸ ਐਟਮੋਸਫੇਅਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਅਪਰ ਲੇਅਰਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੈਸਸ ਦੇ ਐਟਮਸ ਨਾਲ ਕੋਲਾਈਡ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਇਓਨਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਅਰਥ ਰੋਟੇਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਚਾਰਜਡ ਆਇਨਸ ਦੀ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਕਾਰਨ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਚਾਰੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਕਰੰਟਸ ਸੈਟ ਅਪ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਰਥ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਅਰਥ ਦੀ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ ਅਰਥ ਦੇ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਤੇ ਲੋਕੇਟਿਡ ਇੱਕ ਹਾਈਪੋਥੈਟਿਕਲ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਡਾਇਪੋਲ ਦੀ ਫੀਲਡ ਨਾਲ ਰਿਜ਼ੈਂਬਲ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਰਥ ਦੇ ਜੀਓਗ੍ਰਾਫਿਕ ਨਾਰਥ ਦੇ ਨੇੜੇ ਦਾ ਪੋਲ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਨਾਰਥ ਪੋਲ ਅਤੇ ਜੀਓਗ੍ਰਾਫਿਕ ਸਾਊਥ ਦੇ ਨੇੜੇ ਦਾ ਪੋਲ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਸਾਊਥ ਪੋਲ ਕਹਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਪੋਲਸ ਦੇ ਨੋਮਨਕਲੇਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਨਫਿਊਜ਼ਨ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਹੈ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਦੀ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ ਲਾਈਨਸ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਰਥ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਆਬਜ਼ਰਵਡ ਦੈਟ unlike the case of a bar magnet the field lines come out from the south magnetic pole and go into the earth at the north magnetic pole that is the south pole of earth's magnet is towards geographic north and the north pole of the earth's magnet is towards geographic south the convention arose because the magnetic north was in the direction to which the north pole of a magnetic needle pointed the north pole of a magnet was so named as it was the north seeking pole thus in reality the north magnetic pole behaves like the south pole of a bar magnet inside the earth and vice versa the axis of the dipole does not coincide with the axis of rotation of the earth but is presently tilted by approximately 11.3 degree west of the axis of rotation of earth along geographic north and geographic south therefore a magnetic needle free to rotate in a horizontal plane does not show true geographic north and south directions at a place a vertical plane passing through the axis of a freely suspended magnetic needle is called the magnetic meridian the direction of earth's magnetic field lies in the magnetic meridian may not be horizontal a vertical plane passing through the geographical axis of the earth is called the geographical meridian earth de magnet da south pole northern hemisphere vich ate north pole southern hemisphere vich hai so earth de magnetic field lines southern hemisphere to emerge ho ke northern hemisphere vich re-enter kar diya han if we consider a magnetic needle free to rotate in a vertical plane being carried from one pole of the earth to another it will be found that at different places on earth the needle makes different angles with the horizontal plane that is the earth's surface at two places the needle becomes vertical to earth's surface and exactly horizontal at a place in between at all other places it makes different angles with the horizontal plane jehdiya do places te magnetic needle vertical ho jandi hai o earth te magnetic poles han ethe earth di magnetic field earth surface te perpendicular hundi hai earth te surface utthe ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਨੀਡਲ ਹੋਰੀਜ਼ੋਨਟਲ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਪੁਆਇੰਟਸ ਦਾ ਲੋਕਸ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਇਕੁਏਟਰ ਕਹਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਨੀਡਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵਰਟੀਕਲ ਪਲੇਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਫ੍ਰੀਲੀ ਰੋਟੇਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਹੋਰੀਜ਼ੋਨਟਲ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਐਂਗਲ ਬਣਾਉਂ
ਅਜਿਹਾ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅਰਥ ਤੇ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਪੋਲਸ ਅਤੇ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਇਕੁਏਟਰ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਕੇ ਅਰਥ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ ਹੋਰੀਜ਼ੋਨਟਲ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਅਕਿਊਟ ਐਂਗਲ ਬਣਾਉਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਵੈਨੇਵਰ ਵੀ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਅਰਥ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਵੀ ਯੂਜ਼ ਸਰਟਨ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਕੁਆਂਟੀਟੀਜ਼ ਵਿਚ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਅਰਥ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ ਸਚ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਕੁਆਂਟੀਟੀਜ਼ ਆਰ ਕਾਲਡ ਐਲੀਮੈਂਟਸ ਆਫ ਅਰਥ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ these physical quantities are magnetic declination magnetic dip or magnetic inclination and horizontal component of earth's magnetic field magnetic declination jadon ek bar magnet nu ek unspun silk thread nal suspend kita janda hai ta magnet te ends exactly along geographical north south direction vich point nahi karde ਇੱਕ ਫ੍ਰੀਲੀ ਸਸਪੈਂਡਡ ਮੈਗਨੈਟ ਤੇ ਨਾਰਥ ਅਤੇ ਸਾਊਥ ਪੋਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਜੋੜਨ ਵਾਲੀ ਲਾਈਨ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਐਕਸਿਸ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਐਕਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਦੁਆਲੇ ਅਰਥ ਰੋਟੇਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਜੀਓਗ੍ਰਾਫਿਕ ਐਕਸਿਸ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਐਕਸਿਸ ਅਤੇ ਜੀਓਗ੍ਰਾਫਿਕ ਐਕਸਿਸ ਵਿਚਕਾਰ ਦਾ ਸਮਾਲ ਐਂਗਲ ਥੀਟਾ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਡਿਕਲੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਹਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਬੀ ਡਿਫਾਈਨਡ ਐਜ਼ magnetic declination at a place is the angle between magnetic meridian and geographic meridian at that place and the magnetic declination arises because the axis of the fictitious bar magnet responsible for earth's magnetism does not coincide with the axis of rotation of earth In fact the imaginary magnet lies at an angle of about 11.3 degree west of the polar axis or the geographic axis this is the order of magnetic declination at the place whereas magnetic dip or magnetic inclination at a place can be defined as the angle which the direction of total strength of earth's magnetic field makes with a horizontal line in a magnetic meridian it is the angle by which total intensity of earth's magnetic field dips or comes out of the horizontal plane it is represented by delta it is measured with the help of dip circle earth te surface diya different places te angle of dip the value vi different hundi hai example de taur te magnetic poles utte ek magnet earth's magnetic field de vertical component di direction vich align hunda hai ate magnetic needle vertically rest kardi hai so dono poles te angle of dip 90 degree rehnda hai obviously northern hemisphere which jithe fictitious magnet the south pole honda hai needle downwards dip karegi duje pase magnetic equator te angle of dip 0 degree honda hai kyunki needle horizontally rest kardi hai earth de poles ate magnetic equators to alawa surface te har ek point te delta the value 0 degree and 90 degree de vich kar hundi hai horizontal component is the component of total intensity of earth's magnetic field in the horizontal direction in magnetic meridian it is represented by capital h let the total intensity of the earth's magnetic field at a place b r an angle of dip is delta if we resolve r into two rectangular components we get horizontal component h equal to r cos delta along ab and vertical component v equal to r sin delta along ad knowing the values of horizontal and vertical components of the earth's magnetic field one can find the total magnetic field strength r as h square plus v square is equal to r square or r is equal to under root of 
h square plus v square. However, the ratio of v and h gives tan delta. The value of horizontal component h is different at different places. At the magnetic poles, value of delta is equal to 90 degree. Hence, the value of h is 0. On the other hand, at equator, value of delta is equal to 0 degree. Hence, the value of h is maximum and equal to r. We can measure the horizontal component h either using a vibration magnetometer or a deflection magnetometer. The value of h at a place on the surface of earth is of the order of 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla. The declination, dip and horizontal component of earth's field vary irregularly from place to place and also with time. For example, the north and south poles are shifting their positions. It is believed that once in a long while, deep inside the earth's core, electric currents slow down and come to a stop and then pick up in the opposite direction. This might be the cause for reversal of the direction of earth's magnetic field. If a vertical plane makes an angle theta with the magnetic meridian, then h dash would be h cos theta and v dash would be v. If delta is the true angle of dip and delta dash is the apparent angle of dip in the vertical plane, making angle theta with the magnetic meridian. Then tan delta dash should be equal to v dash upon h dash, that is v by h cos theta. Since v by h is equal to tan delta, therefore tan delta dash is equal to tan delta upon cos theta. It is clear that for any vertical plane other than magnetic meridian, theta is greater than 0 degree, that is cos theta is less than 1. This means delta dash is greater than delta. If theta is 90 degree, that is plane is normal to the magnetic meridian, then tan delta dash would be infinite. In other words, apparent angle of dip delta dash would be 90 degree. Let delta 1 dash and delta 2 dash be apparent angles of dip in two arbitrary vertical planes, which are perpendicular to each other. It is clear that tan delta 1 dash is equal to tan delta upon cos theta and tan delta 2 dash is equal to tan delta upon sin theta or cos theta is equal to tan delta into cot delta 1 dash and sin theta is equal to tan delta into cot delta 2 dash. On squaring and adding these two relations, we get cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to tan square delta into sum of cot square delta 1 dash and cot square delta 2 dash. This implies 1 by tan square delta equal to cot square delta 1 dash plus cot square delta 2 dash or cot square delta equal to cot square delta 1 dash plus cot square delta 2 dash. Furthermore, if lambda be the magnetic latitude at a place then angle of dip at that place is given as tan delta equal to twice of tan lambda. For more clarification of these elements, let us try to solve some numerical problems. The first problem is, in the magnetic meridian of a certain place, the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field is 0.26 gauss and the dip angle is 
60 degree. What is the magnetic field of the earth at this location? It is given that horizontal component of earth's magnetic field is H 0.26 Gauss and angle of dip is 60 degrees. Since H is equal to R cos delta or R is H upon cos delta. On substituting the values of H and delta, we get R equal to 0 0.26 upon cos 60 degree. This gives R equal to 0 0.26 upon half that is 0 0.52 Gauss. The next problem is angle of declination at a place is 15 degree west of north. In what direction a ship should be steered so that it reaches a place due east? Here dotted NS line represents the geographical north-south line and the north-south of compass needle is 15 degree west of the geographical north. Therefore, a ship would reach due east. if it steers 90 degree plus 15 degree that is 105 degree with the direction of compass needle. The next problem is a ship is sailing due east according to magnetic compass. If the angle of declination of that place is 18 degree east of north then what is the actual direction of the ship? Here the ship is sailing due east that is along OP. Since the angle of declination of that place is 18 degree east of north. Hence the actual direction of the ship would be 18 degree south of east. Let us try one more problem. At a certain place the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field is 0 0.45 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla. If the angle of dip is 45 degree, what are the values of vertical component and total intensity of the magnetic field of the earth? It is given that horizontal component of earth's magnetic field H is 0 0.45 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla and angle of dip delta is 45 degree. Since H is equal to R cos delta or R is H upon cos delta. On substituting the values of H and delta we get R equal to 0 0.45 into 10 to the power minus 4 upon cos 45 degree. This gives R equal to 0 0.45 into under root 2 into 10 to the power minus 4. That gives R equal to 0 0.636 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla. For the value of vertical component, we know that V is equal to H tan delta. Therefore, V is equal to 0 0.45 into 10 to the power minus 4 into tan 45 degree. That is V is equal to 0 0.45 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla. Another problem is a ship is to reach a place 15 degree south of west. In what direction should it be steered if the angle of declination at that place is 18 degree west. Since ship is to reach the place 15 degree south of west, therefore it should be steered west of magnetic north at an angle of 90 minus 18 plus 15 degree that is 87 degree. In our next problem a magnet is suspended at 30 degree with magnetic meridian makes an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. What shall be the actual value of the angle of dip? 
here magnetic plane of the suspended magnet makes an angle theta equal to 30 degree with the magnetic meridian and the apparent angle of dip that is delta dash is given as 45 degree. Let delta be the true angle of dip. Let h dash be the component of h at 30 degree to magnetic meridian. Then tan delta dash should be equal to v dash upon h dash that is v by h cos theta. Since v by h is equal to tan delta. Therefore, tan delta dash is equal to tan delta upon cos theta or tan delta is equal to the product of tan delta dash and cos theta. On substituting the values of delta dash and theta, we get tan delta equal to tan 45 degree into cos 30 degree that is tan delta is equal to root 3 by 2 or 0 0.866 which gives true value of angle of dip delta as tan inverse of 0 0.866 or 40.9 degree. Similar to this, let us try one more problem. If the true value of angle of dip at a place is 40 degree. A vertical plane carrying the needle is turned through 45 degree from the magnetic meridian. What would be the apparent value of the angle of dip? Here it is given that true value of angle of dip delta is 40 degree. Magnetic plane makes an angle theta equal to 45 degree with the magnetic meridian. We know that tan delta dash is equal to tan delta upon cos theta. On substituting the values of delta and theta, we get tan delta dash equal to tan 40 degree upon cos 45 degree. That is tan delta dash is equal to 0 0.839 by 0 0.707 or 1.187 which gives apparent value of angle of dip delta dash as tan inverse of 1.187 or 49.9 degree. Before concluding today's class, let us summarize today's topic. Earth's magnetic field resemble with a hypothetical magnetic dipole located at the center of the earth. A vertical plane passing through the axis of a freely suspended magnetic needle is called the magnetic meridian. A vertical plane passing through the geographical axis of earth is called the geographical meridian. The locus of points on earth's surface where the needle remains horizontal is called the magnetic equator. Magnetic declination at a place is the angle between magnetic meridian and geographic meridian at that place. It is represented by theta. Magnetic dip at a place is defined as the angle which the direction of total strength of earth's magnetic field makes with a horizontal line in magnetic meridian. It is represented by delta. Horizontal component is the component of total intensity of earth's magnetic field in the horizontal direction in magnetic meridian. It is represented by capital H. On the other hand, vertical component is the component of total intensity of earth's magnetic field in the vertical direction in magnetic meridian. It is represented by capital V. If the total intensity of the earth's magnetic field at a place is R, then horizontal component H is equal to R cos delta 
and vertical component V is equal to R sin delta and the ratio of V and H is equal to tan delta. And now answer some questions quickly. The first question is what is the main cause of earth's magnetism? The answer is earth's magnetism is due to molten charged metallic fluid in the core of the earth. The next question is define magnetic declination. The answer is magnetic declination at a place is the angle between magnetic meridian and geographic meridian at that place. The next question is what is the angle of dip? The answer is it is the angle which the direction of total strength of earth's magnetic field makes with a horizontal line in magnetic meridian. Another question what is the value of angle of dip at equator? The answer is of course 0 degree. Hon is umeed nal aaj ta lesson samapt kar de haan ke tusi is ta parpoor lab lea hona hai. Tiyan dein lai tanwad and see you in the next class.